Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Cable, Babel, issue number nine. I like this comic book because it really shows that Babel sucks. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go into my confirmation bias in a couple minutes. First, let's give credit where credit is due. This issue is called Bargaining. Jerry Dugan is the writer. Phil Noto on art. VCs Joe Sabino doing the letters. The design is Tom Mueller. Noto does the cover also. Jonathan Hickman is the head of X. Let's go from there. Um, just to get this out of the way... Seriously, Phil Noto needs to wake up and recognize that his art is just sucking. Uh, you know, I, again, I liked his work in the Daredevil book because it worked. Now I just feel like he's just like, oh, people like my art, so I can just get sloppy and just bleh, because that's my style. And that's not the way it works, Mr. Noto. That's not the way it works. No, seriously, this art, like I've seen my kids do chalk drawing that is very comparable to this. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> like, I, I, I hate being a jerk, but seriously, how do you, like, I like giving advice that maybe somebody, you know, like, if somehow he were to see this, he would, he would be like, oh, okay, well, that's good to know. I can just improve this way, that way. No, 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 no. There's no, there's no fixing this. It's about just do better. Seriously, like, that's all there is to it. This is horrible. This really looks like sidewalk drawings with, you know, chalk. That's what this looks like. This is terrible. I can do better. I bet you half the people out there, well, easily 10% of the people out there who have drawn or went to school for art, vocational school, drawing in your freaking, you know, room while you're in quarantine, 10% of the people out there can draw better than this. I, this is not an exaggeration, not a joke, not a nothing. I'm dead serious about this. This is terrible, terrible art. It's And it's just lazy at this point. That's all I'm seeing out of this. This is not, no, my vision is, your vision is being lazy. Your vision is blurry because you just, I don't know, you freaking eating candy for breakfast or something like that. I, I did that a couple days ago and I regretted it. <laughs> and it's, I may be projecting a little bit. Anyway, yeah, no, F this art. Uh, moving on. The statement right in the beginning, uh, the random anonymous patron from the Green Lagoon yeah, everybody used to be afraid of the old man. Nobody's afraid of the kid. Yeah, that's perfect, right? And yet somehow we still beat Wolverine at some point in the the arena, whatever the hell that thing was called. Uh, he goes to try, Cable goes to try and collect Babel, tries to collect the uh, the debt from Wolverine or or ask for his help. or whatever. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's screwing up and he screws up. Just in the idea of asking him, he's like, I mean, I could call in the debt, but I was hoping you'd help me regardless. And just, you know, so this way I could still use the debt because I figured, you know, like it's babies and maybe you'd help anyway and I could still keep the debt. And it's like, dude, you're a freaking idiot right now. Th that's the way that debts work. You call it in when it's time to call it in. You don't turn around and be like, you still owe me now that you did the stuff. No, now you're just an absolute schmuck. How dare you? On top of that, he interrupts Wolverine while he's trying to save somebody. I don't know what this has to do with the royal family or whatever, but he's trying to save a dude's life. And then he turns around and he just, you know, ruin, blows his cover, ruins his, his op. Wow. I love what an absolute pathetic loser Babel is proving to be. I believe that this is confirmation bo um, bias on my part. Why? Because I hate Babel. And in my mind, I don't see how anybody could like Babel. I know people have given me excuses, uh, not excuses the wrong word, but reasons why they like Babel for whatever reason or another. Um, I think a lot of those people are gone now <laughs> because there are not a lot of views on these videos, right? Cool, man. At the end of the day, you don't like my review. Don't be here for my review. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going to change because you're crying. You know, I'm, I'm talking about the comic book and my perception of it and all my experiences with comics, you know, hitherto. Um, in this particular case, yeah, I despise this character and I just want to see this kid, this kid basically fail, right? And that seems to be where Jerry Dugan is going with this. I don't know if this was planned or not, but he's he himself, uh, Babel, is already talking about get the new kid. And the very final thing that I talk about is one of the white pages where it talks about duplicates of which Cable is, Babel is. Um, new timelines or duplicates of characters and blah, blah, blah. They cannot be uh, eligible for duplication, the white pages are basically saying. 
Uh, certain exceptions are made with the five who are one. That's cool. Wasn't originally like the 400 there were, how many original versions of the cuckoos were there? Like there was a lot, there was a whole lot more than five, right? So what, what about them? They don't matter. They don't count. Whatever. I don't care. Um, uh, Jamie Madrox obviously is, a, uh, an exception also, even though there's already a, uh, an inborn mutant, well, a born mutant, uh, contingency plan in case the main dies, then the next longest one will actually become the new main, and it's a big deal, right? And that's just bypass here. It's like, nope, never mind. We're going to bring back the main, the prime, right? Okay. I don't know how this works. It's a really weak explanation. I don't really care because it was a weak concept from the beginning. You know, it just it is what it is, and I'm okay with not everything being formally explained. I'm okay with some things just being, eh, who knows, right? How many people? How many people, when, you know, we started doing the Dawn of X stuff, how many of us were sitting here looking at this stuff and reading the stuff and, you know, uh, uh, Krakoa is for all mutants and we'll resurrect you, so there, no more death, yay! And we're all like, you know, well, wait a second, so what does that mean? That means we're bringing everybody back and that means even people like Strafe can come to the island? Well, yeah, yeah, technically, yes. Uh, we take it a little bit further because at one point, there's something that that was actually mentioned here also there's several things mentioned i remember people myself included asking about well i don't get it at, at one point they're saying that no clones okay well isn't everything about mr sinister a clone and lots of people are actually clones of things so what do we do at this point i, I don't get it we're all confused because it was a very poorly hashed together plan that's okay man i'm cool with it in this particular case though by mentioning it what it's basically indicating is that's your ass, Babel. If you bring back Cable, your Babel ass goes bye-bye. Yeah, I, I, I'm cool with that. Like, even if they come from a different dimension, it's not about sending them back to that dimension. It's about bang, bang, bye, bang. Uh, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. I, I want to see this dumb kid get, get wrecked. Right now, if that is Jerry Dugan's plan, then his main primary responsibility is to make me care about Babel so that I regret saying what I just said when it actually happens. That. I'm really looking forward to that. Everything else in this comic book, it just plays pretty much like the Logan scene. Uh, besides the very beginning where he and Esme actually do a pretty good job of taking out a, um, a, a, a what is it, atomic power, nuclear powered submarine by AIM. It was a cool moment. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I mean, there could have been better ways to do it, but who cares? It's fun to see little stuff like that, right? Make fun of the beehive guys. It's totally cool. None of them are going to show up on WandaVision or anything, right? They have about the same chance as Mephisto showing up. Either way, I look at it as this was fun, but yeah. Like I said, I don't know, whatever. I, I just want to see Babel gone, and I want to feel bad when he's gone also. So there is a reason to bring him back in case. Yeah, this was an all right book. Not because it was good. No, actually, okay, fine, it was good. Anyway, I, I'm so torn with this, man. I'm so torn with this book. I, I just want to quit it. But it's like, I can't quit you, Billy. <laughs> I can't quit you. We're going back to Brokeback Mountain, <laughs> and we're going to get old man Cable. Anyway, I'm done. Talk to you guys later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.